Hi. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Welcome to the next show. Hi, hey, I'm Bill Fairman. <laughs> I'm Wendy this Sweet. This is Wendy Sweet, Thank my you. lovely and talented sister. So what we're going to talk about in this show is our ideal borrower client. Who is the ideal borrower? My ideal client is someone who pays us back. That's, I, I kinda, As a lender, that I believe that's everyone's ideal client. <laughs> okay, well then I'm like everyone else. No, we are unique. <laughs> Just a little. I don't want to say avatar, but, but who is our ideal borrower client? Who is our ideal borrower? Well, you know, that's a great question because it really depends on what the product is, doesn't it? Whether it's a sure. single family property or if it's somebody that's doing multifamily or if it's a commercial borrower that's doing apartments or self-storage sure. or, or that kind of thing. You know, my favorite person to work with, people who are in our different mastermind groups that we're members of. They're people that we already know, like, and trust. We see the business they've been doing. And we know that they're movers and shakers. We know, you know, they're not the kind of person that if they're running into a problem and they're going to have trouble making a payment, that we're not going to have to track them down. You know, that's the kind of person that would pick up the phone and call us and let us know, hey, here's what's going on. Payment's going to be about a week later, whatever the, the case may be. That's my favorite client to work with for sure in every kind of a lending situation. You know, when you're dealing in a single family arena, that's really where you deal with people who are a little bit newer at being investors and, and newer meaning a little less experience. And, you know, that's where I love the opportunity to be able to have them meet with me on my Wednesday with Wendy, that, you know, the mentorship that we're doing, mm -hmm. get them plugged into their local real estate investor club, or uh, just hook them up, connect them with other investors that have been in the business that are, that, that do similar things that they're interested in doing so they can take them under their wings and teach them. So the type of borrower I would say is um, my favorite would be somebody who really has a passion for real estate. Yes. But you could be brand new and Absolutely. have a passion and not know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. So this is the perfect opportunity to yeah. get mentoring. Yeah. It That's is. not exactly our ideal client. Not that we don't have faith in you, but we also run a business. That's right. And <laughs> ain't nobody got time uh, for doing that. <laughs> a fix and flip on a single family residence. There's a lot of moving parts. Yes. Yes. And you as the borrower are taking all the risk because mm -hmm. when we lend the money, we're lending a percentage of the value. And not just to throw out numbers, let's assume we're doing 70% of the after repair value. That leaves us a 30% cushion if we ended up having to take this property back because you failed. <laughs> and and let, let, me, let me say this. There's failure in every business. Mm. There is in real estate, you're going to lose money. We just don't want it to be, uh, us. be on your first house either. <laughs> my, my point here is there are things that are out of your control. And when I say you're taking all the risk here, when, when you've decided to rehab or build a home, it's going to take you between six and 12 months to complete the project. Mm -hmm. And so many things can happen along the way. Yes. The markets can change. Yes. The specific neighborhood may things change. You have no control over prices go up. There's all kinds of stuff that, mm -hmm. that, that can Corrections. Go wrong. you don't have x-ray vision. When you buy a house, <laughs> you decide you want to take a wall out. You have no idea what's inside that I wall. I had no idea there were that many termites in there. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the point is you need to get a little bit of an experience and with through mentorships and joint venturing with people who have been there and have done that mm. will make you be a much more prepared borrower mm -hmm. for us. Great. Move. The, the people that we like to do business with are the people that have done three or four deals already already got bruises and cuts on their elbows. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they listen. Uh, and yeah, they're, they're very <laughs> trainable, but the benefit of a, a hard money lender is that we are the canary in the coal mine, mm. so to speak. If we don't want to do your project, it's probably not a project that you want to do either. Right. Because as lenders, and it's not just us, it's any lender out there. They're always looking at a project that if I have to take this back, how quickly can I sell it? Right. Get the money back and get it reinvested because mm -hmm. we're in the business to 
get interest payments mm -hmm. in return. That capital has to constantly be working. It's not our capital. We have other investors that invest and they expect a return. The longer that money is sitting out there not being used, uh, the, the worse it is on the investors that put their money into That's the right. fund. Especially our mother's so money. We're always, yeah. <laughs> so we're always looking at how long does it take us to get rid of it? The uh, longer it's going to take us to get rid of a property, the more we have to discount the price mm -hmm. in order to sell it quickly. Speed is more important than price in almost every case. Right. This is Our ideal borrower also is someone who is not just trying to cut corners. Now we all want to have a deal. We're all looking for deals. Real estate investors look for deals. That's what we do. I have plenty of friends that have called on the real estate investor community and ended up stop calling on the real estate investor community because we're such cheapskates because <laughs> we're always looking for a deal. So I, I have to tell a, a quick story about a borrower who got apparently a really good deal on two by four. Mm. And he didn't call us to do draw inspections for a little while, which we, we kind of like if you have the funds, to go ahead and do most of the house before we go out and do an inspection. Cause every time you go out and do an inspection, it costs you money. Mm -hmm. So he was going to save on the inspection fees. Plus he got apparently a really good deal on two by fours mm -hmm. and decided to floor the entire house with pine two by fours instead of using <laughs> actual flooring he was gonna he was gonna sand <clears throat> off all the print so on you it. had a gap <laughs> about this much higher than the normal flooring would be <laughs> and they were gonna sand off. <laughs> anyway no nope. had to rip it up start all over again yeah, so how much money did that save them yeah. not too much <laughs> so sure. do you have any borrower stories you that like to share? would probably take us i don't know hours to think of all the different things I can think of people who are um, just cutting crazy corners and just trying to find new ways to do things. Okay. I'll give you another quick example. And this is where Wendy comes in and she's able to look at these properties. So it was a bungalow that was, they added a little extra square footage to it. But when you walked into the kitchen, there was an L shaped counter, which is pretty, it's beautiful, nice and open, except the pantry was to the back and where the refrigerator was going to go. <laughs> if you open the door, it was, Not well, gonna let's open. put it this way. It was going to hit the countertop. <laughs> it looked good. No when matter all the doors what, were shut. no matter what side you put the door on, <laughs> it was going to hit the countertop. So Wendy's just made the suggestion, move the pantry over to here because <clears throat> these doors are much smaller mm -hmm. and then move the, uh, anyway, so you can put the refrigerator over there. Well, they didn't listen to it. Mm -mm. So they put the refrigerator in sure enough, it was hitting either side. So you know what their solution <laughs> was? They took the refrigerator out and they told people to get their own appliances. Yeah. So they, <laughs> they wanted to sell the house with people thinking that they, they wouldn't think about their being we'll give a you a credit there. for the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of cheating. So <laughs> the next thing you learn is take advice from others. Yes. <laughs> Especially someone who has been through at least 500. <laughs> this year. Uh, well, <laughs> at least 500 fix and flips. Um, has, has seen a lot of stuff and, and understands design. Wendy is not just a mortgage person. She's a licensed realtor in, in two states. And has, don't hold that against me. Has been, <laughs> and has done so for. Um, 38 years. Uh, I know. I was 12. I was 12. Almost forgot again. CarolinaHardMoney.com for any new information or any additional information you'd like on us. Correct? Mm -hmm. That's right. So on our next show, <laughs> we're going to talk about who our ideal investor client would mm -hmm. be. So thanks again. We'll see you on the next show. Correct? See you soon. Hi, if you really like this show, what you can do is you can check out some of our other shows that might or might not pertain to it. You can check up there. You can check over here. You can check down here. Check it out. Don't be afraid to like us, right? Subscribe. <laughs> do that too. Subscribe to our page and hit like. We'd love to have you do that. Thanks.